Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to learn one of the most satisfying techniques in football, the side volley. Perfect. So the first step of the side volley is making sure our body is in a position where we can actually perform the side volley technique. So we need to make sure we're side on from our target. So in this case, it's the goal. So as you can see, my left hip is facing the goal. If you were striking a normal volley, your hips would be facing the goal because your entire action is going towards your target. But for a side volley, we're actually rotating our hips into the ball and then eventually following through towards our target. So eyes fixing on the middle of the ball, making sure our body is side on from our target. The next step is our planting foot. And this is one of the most important steps, especially for generating accuracy and making sure the ball goes exactly where we're intending it to. So because we're receiving the ball from an angle, it can be very easy to just swing through the ball. That's gonna be a very difficult technique. You're gonna be off balance and the chances of hitting the ball cleanly are minimal. So instead of facing the ball and trying to strike through it, we need to open up our hip and place our planting foot in the direction we want the ball to go. So as you can see, I open up my hip and I plant my foot with my toes pointing directly towards my target. That's gonna give me a solid base, lots of balance so that when I swing through, I'm disciplined and it also allows me to raise my opposite hip and swing level with the ball. Try this out for yourself. Keep your hips in the direction the ball is coming from and try to stay balanced on that planting foot. It's very difficult. But if we open up our foot, have a slight bend in the knee and then swing through, you can automatically feel the movement is so much more controlled, which is gonna add more power and accuracy to the strike. The next step is swinging your kicking leg through the ball. So for a normal strike, we bend our knee our foot is about hip height. We swing from the hip and then extend at the knee. It's the same for a side volley, but the angle of our leg is much different. So instead of coming straight on, we're actually coming from the side. So we need to get our leg high enough so we can meet the ball level. We wanna meet it through the middle of the ball and then strike downwards. If we strike from low to high, the ball is just gonna go up and over the bar. We need to meet the ball, so we need to get our leg high enough, flex our knee, and then strike through the ball almost at hip level. Then as we follow through, we're going downwards and that's gonna help the ball stay underneath the crossbar. So to generate momentum in our swing, we need to twist from the upper body. So as you can see, I twist my body first and then my leg follows. So all that power is coming from the upper body. Really important to swing towards your target, then the rest of the body will follow. So now let's talk about contact areas. And this is really important because the goal with the side volley is to hit the ball as cleanly as possible. So to help you do that, you wanna strike the ball with the top of the foot. This is the flattest surface area, nice and wide so you can get a clean contact on the ball. And it's really important to strike right through the middle. Anywhere else you strike on the ball is gonna have a negative impact on the strike. If you hit too low, it's gonna slice backwards, it's gonna go over the bar. If you hit too high, it's gonna go straight into the ground. So make sure you strike through the middle of the ball, right through that center, and that's gonna provide the cleanest strike. And with any ball striking technique, you wanna make sure your ankle's locked, which means engaging the muscles around the ankle so it's nice and solid. And when you strike through the ball, you're not losing any power. And the final step is our follow through. And even if we planted our foot perfectly beside the ball, pointing at our target, slight bend in the knee for stability, and we got our leg high enough so it goes through the middle of the ball, right through the center with our laces, with a good rotation. If you don't take care of your follow through, you're still not gonna achieve the results you want with the side volley. So make sure you stay disciplined through the entire technique, especially with the follow through. So after we've struck the ball, it's really important to follow through towards the ground. We're not following through towards our target. That's gonna to put too much contact on the ball and it's gonna have an undesirable effect on the flight of it. But instead, we're gonna strike through the center of that ball and then immediately 
slam our foot to the ground. That's going to generate some backspin, which is going to help the ball glide through the air nice and flat and even sometimes add a little bit of rise to the ball at the last second. So as we plant our foot towards our target, rotate our upper body, swing through the middle of that ball, it's really important to force our striking foot back down to the ground. Cancel out that follow through so the strike on the ball is nice and clean. So there we have it, a few technique tips to help you master the side volley. Just before you go, make sure you check out the rest of my shooting playlist if you want to learn more techniques. Also hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos and I will see you guys in my next video.